right, uh, let us get started today. Hola. No? Don't get started? Huh? Movie? I'm not showing a movie today. Huh? No. Are you saying my lectures are boring? Oh, okay. Now today we're talking about stage combat. And stage combat um, is pretty important uh, in theater. Um, <clears throat> there's a huge difference when you act in a film and you act on stage. There are a lot of differences, but one of the, one of the differences is if you act in film, it's rare that you ever do any combat. It's rare that you do your own stunts. I laugh when I see actors, they'll come on talk shows, the one that really gets me is Tom Cruise. He'll show up on talk shows and he'll talk about how he did all his own stunts. He's lying. He does not do his stunts. If I'm paying an actor 17 or 18 million dollars to be in my film, and they're driving the film, they're the lead in the film, I'm not going to let them do stunts. I'm not going to take the chance that they could get hurt. And then it would cost me millions and millions and millions of dollars to either recast the movie or have that person wait till they're well again. So when Tom Cruise comes on a TV show, or any actor for that matter, other than say somebody like Jackie Chan, who only does stunts, because that's all he does. They don't do their own stunts. What they'll do is there'll be a moment where Tom Cruise here gets ready to get hit. The guy cocks back to hit him. They cut it. Then they bring in the stunt double who takes the hit, does the fall. Tom Cruise goes over and lays down. They put some makeup on him to make him look like he got hit and then he jumps back up again. You'll see the, you'll see the actors in the close-up. They might start to throw a punch, but they don't really do the fight. You, does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Actors on stage, if I'm doing Hamlet and we get to the sword fight, I can't go, wait a minute, I just act. I, I don't fight. Here, I'm bringing in my stunt double. They're now going to do the fight. We can't do that. We have to do the fights. If it's live, you have to do the fights. That's part of it. And for years, for many years, there was no training for this. Actors just picked it up on their own. I can remember being in college, my sophomore year. Come on in. And we were doing a comedy, a Greek comedy called Lysistrata, and it had a lot of fights in it, a lot of comic fights as a comedy. And I remember the director coming up to me, I'm a sophomore, coming up to me and going, hey, Bobby, you played football, didn't you? Yeah. All right, you're the fight choreographer for the play. You know how to fall down. I didn't know what I was doing. I've got a cap on my front tooth here. It got knocked out during the play. Because <laughs> I got slammed up against a wall. Because I was really doing it. I didn't know the difference. I, I, I get calls all the time. I got a call from a high school a couple years ago. And the high school teacher goes, I hope, I won't name the high school, the high school teacher calls me and goes, um, I hope you'll come see our play of Romeo and Juliet. I went, oh, cool. Who did your fights? That's one of my first questions. 
Who did your fight? Romeo and Juliet has some big sword fights in it. Who did your fights? All the kids worked out something. They found some steel behind the school and it makes really good sound when they slam it together. You've got students who picked up steel off the ground and they're using that for their swords and they're slamming it together. Yeah! I can't make your play. I wish I could. I just, I saw lawsuit. Just lawsuit. You don't hand students steel and tell them to just go whacking at each other and put it in the play. So what we have uh, in in, for the stage and also for film are fight choreographers and there's an organization in the United States called the Society of American Fight Directors wink wink nudge nudge the Society of American Fight Directors right now there are 14 fight masters in the United States and that's the highest level. They're, the, they're pretty much the people who started the organization. And these fight masters choreograph most of the professional plays and a lot of the films that are, that are done in the United States. They choreograph fights. That's what they do for a living. And they know fights really, really well. The organization was founded by this man, David Boucher. He's the founder of the Society of American Fight Directors. I've had fight classes from David Boucher. He's quite a character. Uh, David Boucher works out of Seattle. And he got started uh, as a fight director because he, was, he worked with uh, films. And he worked with stuntmen. And when he started to do plays when he was asked to choreograph fights for plays and he realized he wasn't working with stuntmen he realized that actors really needed to learn how to do fights and so he heard that there was a, a society in England it was the British fight directors he went to England trained with some of those people became a member of that organization and then came back to the United States and started it here as a model after what they had in England and as I said, there are, like, there are 14 fight masters. Then they have teachers, and then they have what are called combatants. And the combatants are people who just fight, who can be called on, have been trained and certified. And that's what this organization does. They train and certify people to be able to do fights. Uh, every summer, the Society of American Fight Directors has a, a giant workshop. Uh, it travels around. It, it, for a while, it was at the University of Las Vegas. Uh, last summer, uh, it was at, um, I think, U University of North Carolina at Greensboro, I believe, where they held the workshop. But what they do for two weeks, it's like a boot camp. And people come in and take classes. The classes are eight hours a day and for two weeks. And you learn how to fight with broadswords, how to fight with rapiers and daggers, how to fight with quarterstaffs, and you do unarmed stage combat. And then they also teach things like how to fight with tomahawks. Um, they do, uh, there's been some classes in fighting in armor. Uh, and you can get certified in the different weapons. So that's, that's what they, they do. Um, and when they're, you're certified, it says you know how to fight with them, and you can do it safely. Because the big thing about the Society of American Fight Directors is that fights are safe, but look real. That's what they promote. Safety, no one's going to get hurt, but they look real. And I'm going to get into these other words that you need to know as we go along. Um, stay. There. Okay. Now we get to the fun part. 
Ever had a class where you get to beat up on your teacher? Today's the day. <laughs> I'm going to teach you some of the stuff that we do. Uh, I teach stage combat here at ETSU. Uh, in fact, I had a class this morning. We were fighting with sore with rapiers. And, uh, but what I'm going to teach you is unarmed stage combat. Uh, unarmed uh, means we're, we don't use weapons, fist fighting, um, different kinds of unarmed combat. One of the first things that I teach uh, in stage combat is how to fall down. Now that seems like that would be easy. We've all fallen down. The trick is to fall down and not get hurt. How do you, how do you teach people to fall so they won't get hurt? And I'm going to show you uh, a, a couple things and then uh, we're going to get into some other stuff that's going to be fun. Um, one of the, the first things I teach is to faint. Have you ever seen anybody faint? Anybody in here? When they fainted, did they get hurt? Yeah. They did? Did they just fall over? The heat stroke. Out his oh, it was heat stroke. She, she did. Did she, did she just fall straight over? Yeah, it hit her head. Um, a lot of times when people faint, they're, they're there, and then all of a sudden, they're not. They just, like, melt down because the legs give out. And, and they just go. I, I, and when I was first taught this, I, I wasn't sure. I'd never seen anyone faint. I wasn't sure it was real, but I was in the doctor's office one day, and there was a kid in there, well, not a kid, a young man. He was about 12 years old, and he, he was uh, doing his, his midget league football physical. And apparently he had to give blood for the physical. And they, were, they took a blood sample. And I'll never forget, he was sitting with his dad. And <laughs> he goes, the dad, they called his name. And his dad said, you know, would you, you want me to go in there with you, son? He said, oh, no, no. Ah, I can do this. And he has a little form. He's being cool. He walked to the door, went in. A little while later, the door opens. And this guy comes out, and he's like, And he had the little band-aid on his arm. And I knew that's when I knew he'd given blood. And he walked up to the window and he handed the lady the form. And then he just, he just fainted. He totally just went away. And he would have been fine if she hadn't caught him. She caught his arm and he's hanging <laughs> at the window. And his dad runs over there and gets him, and they, they put him down. I mean, he totally, he totally passed out. But if I'm going to fall, I'm five foot eight. I don't want to fall five foot eight inches over. What I'm going to try to do anytime I, I, I fall is I'm going to get as close to the floor as possible before I lose control. And it's a lot like magic. Ooh. We, we try to make the audience look one way while we do something else when we're doing stage combat. So when I faint, I'm, you ready? I'm going to faint here. All right, here we go. Got to get in mind. Uh. <laughs> if you faint and you're on stage, all you do is this. If I look up, where, do, where does the audience look? Up. Just, it's like sleight of hand. That's what magicians do. So. And then what you do is you melt to the floor. And what, what we do is we go down and we place a knee. I'm going to do it real slow for you. I don't land on the knee. I just place it. And then I slide off the back. My butt slides off my leg. And I'm going to go to a sitting position. So I sit and I sit. And I call this the sissy sit. <laughs> I got that from a dog named Sissy. It used to sit this way. Okay. So I sit, tuck my head in, and then I roll back. 
keep the head up to the last second, and then I let my arm come out to the side. We call this the nap, K-N-A-P. It's the noise that's made when you do anything, either a hit or a fall. It's the noise, the sound, the nap. I let my arm come out, make the nap, and then I'm going to die comfortably on my arm. One of my rules to my students is never, never die uncomfortable. You don't want to have to lay there. <laughs> you, you want to be comfortable, because you might have to lay there for a long time. And, you know, be comfortable. So the faint looks like this. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Does that look real? Does that look real? For an old guy? You don't have to clap. Does that look real? Huh? But it, we always do the same technique. You place the leg, do the sissy sit, and then roll down. It's just done in pieces. And when I train somebody, we'll go slow till they, they get the body memory. Once they have the body memory, then we speed it up. Now, a fall, a fall is done the same way. If, I, if somebody falls, they trip. Oh! I'm coming from this way. <laughs> we trip, and my hands go up. Why? I'm going to get the audience looking up here. While you're looking up here, all I'm going to do is this. And I'm going to go to the sissy sit. Hi. And then I'm going to throw myself. This is the difference between the faint and the fall. I can either go to my side. It would be called what? Side fall. It would be called what? Side fall. Side fall. God, how did you know that? Or I can flip on my belly and it's a front fall. Not a belly flop, but, well, with me it is, but a whole different thing. So, it looks like this. We speed it up. I've got to have, have my motivation here. Okay. Hey, go! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can clap for that one. If you ever watch championship wrestlers, they slam the floor a lot. They'll even do it with their feet. They'll, they'll punch somebody. That's because they're making that loud nap. That's all they're doing. But we slam the floor much the way people who do karate slam the floor. It takes the sting out of the fall. It makes a nice nap, but it takes the sting out. Because you can hit you can hit somebody really hard with this. This part of your arm. In fact, it's been made illegal in football to hit somebody with that. When I played football, that was a weapon. Because you come up and pop somebody in the head and they didn't get back up. <laughs> so now it's illegal. You'll see somebody do it every now and then, that flag coming. <laughs> 30, 40, 60,000 fine. James Harrison took somebody out again. You know, bam! Just let them have it. Told you it was going to get loud. But that, I can take a big hit there. Okay? Do you like the fall? Okay, good. All right. So, I teach falls. We do back ones, we do front ones, we do side ones, we do all kinds of things learned through the Society of American Fight Directors. One of the other things that we do are chokes. And I'm going to need a volunteer to help me with the choke. What's your name? Clay. Clay. Okay, Clay, Clay's going to help me here. Now, in stage combat, we have what we call reverse energy. Reverse energy. Point at it, Clay. 
reverse energy. Got a double point. That might be important. OK, reverse energy means we actually go opposite of the way that it looks like we're going. For example, instead of choking somebody, come here, Clay. If I grabbed Clay and I really choked him, if I pushed in, I could hurt him. Or he'd beat the crap out of me, one. But by pushing in, <laughs> but, I'm keeping an eye on. <laughs> by pushing in, what you would do in a real choke, it would cause pain to the other person. So what we do is we pull away. So if I grab him, I don't push in. I'm actually pulling away. And what he would do is he would grab my, my wrists, and then your reverse energy is you would hold me against you. Okay. But you grab me. No! Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, we don't grab the throat. If we grab the throat, there's a chance you could actually choke somebody without trying. Okay. Also, we have an artery going up the throat. We don't want to cut that off. So what we do is we, we grab just below the throat, and the thumb is on the collarbone. He grabs me. I grab here. Now, you can see he doesn't have my throat, right? But what I'm going to do is drop my chin down. Okay? Yeah. Now, you can't tell if he has me. Now, what I want to see you do, just practice. Give me like, like you're really, make it look like you're really choking something. I just want to see, pretend. There's, yeah, give me, give me, give me that. a lot of tension. Lot of, like, uh, mad, I want to see a mad face, man. You hate, uh. it's, it's hard to do like right here. Okay, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Keep doing that. Keep. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he did good, didn't he? That's good. You're not done yet. I'm going to The person being choked controls it. The person being choked. He just follows me and makes it look like he's really mad at me. Now, in army movies, a lot of times you'll see him come up from behind, the back choke. And it's done this way. He brings the arm over, drops his elbow into my chest, holds the shoulder, put the other hand, yeah. And then I grab here. Drop my chin. Because if you see that, you'll know he's not, he doesn't have me. But he's got me here. Now, give it a lot of tension. Oh, God! God, stop! <laughs> and then he dies. That's how we do the chokes. Good job, man. Thank you. Sit down. I need another volunteer. I need another volunteer. Don't volunteer others. Yeah, come on. Entering the arena. All right. That reverse energy we also use in grabs, hair pulls. Uh, <laughs> nose pulls. Be brave. It'll be over in moments. Okay. I'm going to show you the technique and then I'm going to let her do it to me. We show hand. Hand comes down on the head and I don't really grab the hair. I shut the hand on top of her head. I don't have it. Okay. Now, if I grabbed your hair, what would you do? Besides kick me or something. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I'd probably just kick you yeah. and try to get away. Well, what we're going to do, do, you're going to try to get away, but what you're going to do is grab my wrist. Okay. With the other hand. Other hand? Yeah. Now, hold me against your head. Very good. That's great. <laughs> and I don't, again, let go. I don't have her. Grab. Now, now, go, ow. Ah. <laughs> okay, now I want to do a little. I'll do a little choreography. I'm going to do this to her, and then I'm going to let her do something to me. I'm going to grab you, grab my wrist, 
and you're going to go lean this way right. and that way and this way and this way. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I want you to scream bloody murder when I grab your hand. To scream? Yeah! Okay. You feel like it hurts. Okay. Okay? Go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's got a more believable scream there, but that's <laughs> got to work. Okay. <laughs> we grab noses the same way. We grab ears and other appendages, which I'm not going to. But... <laughs> That's how it's all done. It's all done with the fake grab. Um, grab me by the ear. The way I just did. Just shut your hand right there. Oh! 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 We're going to go that way. Oh! 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 Go back over that way. Oh! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! Ah! Now we're going to go back. Oh! 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 And that's how we do it. You're good. Get out of here. <laughs> All kinds of grabs. It's not real. It can't be. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Now, one of the things we will do, I'm not doing here today. Fights never go any faster than three-quarter speed. Even in performance. In performance, they, they go at three-quarter speed, not full speed. Three-quarter speed means that if I were told to stop, I could stop my motion. Full speed, there's no control. Somebody says stop, and I'm going full speed, my fist would continue to go. Three-quarter speed, I could stop. Does that make sense? If I'm running, I don't run at full speed. I run at three-quarter speed. It's important for a couple reasons. One, it's safer because I can stop. Two, if I go full speed, the audience won't see it. And I want the audience to be able to see the fight. Have any of you ever seen a real fight? You ever seen real boxers box? Mm -hmm. How fast can they throw punches? You won't, you won't see some of the punches. In fact, if we didn't slow them down on TV, you wouldn't see some of the hits. They're that quick. Have you ever tried to watch fencing on, on the Olympics? The sword fights are so fast that they have to wear electronic vests because they can't see when they hit them. They move that quickly. In the ancient times, before they had electronic vests, they depended on the, on the fighter to go, you got me. Nowadays, most of them wouldn't do that. They'd just try to pretend they didn't get hit. But if it touches it, the thing lights up and they know that there's been a touch. We have to slow our sword fights down. We have to bring everything down to three-quarter speed so the audience can actually see what's happening. Or it just goes too fast. You, you, and, it, and again, it's not safe. So, three-quarter speed. Um, I, need, I need someone else, that someone that can throw punches. Someone that likes to throw punches. I need a, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, bring it. Bring it up. Come on, bring it. I'm, I'm waiting on you. Bring it. Hey, you. Oh, no, wait a minute. You're taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, what's you? Anthony. Anthony. Okay. Um, Anthony, um, I want to do a couple, I'm going to do a couple things with you. Um, we have... In stage combat, we have contact s slaps, which do get used. I'm not going to cover them here today because they're contact. They actually hit the person. But I'm going to show you the technique for non-contact slaps and non-contact punches. Okay, so that's what 
Anthony and I are going to do. All right. Um, what I want to do is um, I want you to swing. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. Okay. Uh, just, just, we're going to let them see it. Come and stand right here. We're going to hide it in a minute. Um, the first thing that we're going to do in terms of a fight is we have to check measure. And by measure means uh, I is, the measure is the distance between the fighters. Measure is the distance between the fighters. And what I want to make sure if we're going to throw punches, except for uh, one that I'm going to show you here in a moment, is I am out of measure. In other words, he can't hit me. Okay? Let me see you just put your arm out. Right here, man. You're, you're right. Okay. Now, if you don't step forward, you can swing. You're not going to hit me. You're going to be about that far away. Let me just see you like a slap. Swing from my face. Okay, now swing real fast. Good. Now swing, put something in it. Excellent. Good. Maybe a little nervous, actually. Uh, you're good. We're out of measure. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. The nap is made by the person getting hit. And what I'm going to do is he cocks back to hit me. So as he cocks back, hold it. I'm going to bring up my right hand as though I'm bringing it up to block you. But I'm so stupid I didn't bring up my left hand. I brought up my right hand. And I'm going to bring it right under my chest. So it comes to here. Then, as he swings, go slowly. When he gets here, I'm bringing this other hand up, making the slap. That's the nap. And I'm going to grab my face as though you hit me. You'll follow through. We've got to have the timing on that. So let's just do it kind of, not full speed, but, you know, a little faster. Make sure you cock back. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Now, I'm going to turn it. Check measure. It's yeah. a little stage. Okay, you ready? Go. Oh! All right, look. I couldn't see it. All right, one more. Oh! What about a be like cheap slapping? Ah! Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> go, go forward, hit me. Like yeah, and then cock back and hit me with a backhand. So one of those, and then just. Yeah, but don't step in. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard. Just, <laughs> just don't step in. Right. And then boom. Yeah, but but it, when you cock back. Just rotate. Yeah. Do more rotation. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, oh. See so what we can work that out now. I know what you want to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now let me see you. Let me see you throw a, a, a just a, a jab. Yeah, get in the boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I want you. You're gonna go bam, bam, bam. And between each one, make eye contact with me before you hit me a second time. Okay. So you know. So I know you're. You know I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to turn it this way again. We're going to hide it. I got to hide it because if you sit there and see, see him miss me, it, it doesn't work. So, we block it so we hide it. So, here we go. Sure yeah. Hit yeah. You. <laughs> and we could do a whole series of those. Uh, we're going to slow it down. We're not going to get too fast. I mean, it's going to be Muhammad Ali out here just. You know, cartoons, they step on their foot and brrrr, we, we can't do that. Now, in film, in film, the actors don't make naps. I wouldn't do this. Why? We add it later. It gets dubbed in. And it, here's, here's a hard thing on, on people that fight on, on stage. The f noises that you hear in a movie aren't real. If you get hit, it's going to sound skin to skin. But what you hear in movies is, wow, wow, wow. I mean, they, they add 
such vicious sounds. They go out and try to find sounds to make it sound more than what it really is. So we'll do fights. I've seen fight masters do fights and people look at it and go, didn't sound real because they want to hear the movie. We're, we're so accustomed to hearing movie sounds. So what we do, we make as much noise as possible. That's what the championship wrestlers do. That's why they do all the slamming, to make it as loud as possible. And then at least the audience might buy that it's kind of real. Okay? Um, you did pretty good with that. We would use that hit on punches. We would use it uppercuts. The uppercut would just go this way. Uh, a hook punch, um, jab. All those would use that same map. And we would just hide it from the audience. You did good. Thank you. I need, I need somebody about my height. About my height. I'm 5'8". Come here. Are you taller than me? 5'11". Shit. How tall are you? Five what? Five Who's around five eight? Come here. Bucks do it. Bucks do it. Bucks. <laughs> Bucks. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Will. Will, stand here. Okay. I'm going to show you how I do this. Relax. I'm going to show you how I do this, and then we're going to hide it. This is, there's a, remember this name. John Wayne, the Duke. The actor, John Wayne. This punch is named after John Wayne. It's called the John Wayne Punch. And it's called that because he did it in a lot of his movies. Um, the John Wayne punch is the one punch where we, where we come in too close. We, we, break, we really come in on measure. I am close enough to hit him. In fact, I'm going to be close enough that if I swing, my arm can go past his head. Okay? So I'm going to come in and bend my arm. And the beauty of this is you don't have to do anything except turn your head. Well, I'm going to come over this shoulder. So what you're going to do is just follow my fist. That's all you have to do. Don't move anything else. And go then, back. And then, no, don't go back. And, and give me a, uh. Uh. So let the head turn. Okay, ready? Follow my fist. Uh. <laughs> Make this out of your Yeah. Ready? Uh. We're going to get the timing right. Now I'm going to speed it up. Ready? Okay. Uh. This snap. Is I make the nap. And what I do is I got my hand on his shoulder. As I come through, I will slap the hand and then shut the fist. Try this on your, yourself. Put your hand out, make a fist, and do this. Follow through with it. That's right. You, I know you're going to want to go back to your homes and dorms and freak people out. <laughs> Do it right. Grab. I didn't have you do this one because people always slap themselves. So, but this one you can do. Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. Get, to, Get watch, the sound right. Get the sound. Ready? Ready? Watch my fist. <laughs> now, we'll turn him up stage. So you can't see me make the nap. Ready? Ready. You sure? Man, Positive. You, you, you're pissing me off, man. <laughs> Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> How did it look? Pretty good. Was the timing OK? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. He was slow? Yeah, follow my fist. Hit him again. Hit him again. Harder, harder. Ready? You're doing hey. good. Ready? Hey. Just watch that fist. <laughs> Better? We'd have to work and get the timing right, but that's how it's done. Good job. Good job. Bucks do it, man! Grabs.
punches, hits. Uh, we do uh, things like eye scrapes. Uh, they're fun. Yeah, that's where you come up to somebody, you want to see a movie, and you just scrape them. <coughs> and all we do is put our hands on their face and then drop it down, and you can go like this. Can you do that? Make it bigger. Ready? Now go, ah, wah, 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 wah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Three Stooges, I poke. The Three Stooges, I poke. But I, I love the Three Stooges. They, they, they did some funny stuff. They actually did their stunts. And they discovered, if you've ever seen the Three Stooges, they discovered the eye poke. Because one day they were talking about a script. And Larry, the one with the curly hair, and Mo, the one with the bull haircut. Larry and Mo got arguing. Larry did something, and Mo punched him in the eyes with his fingers. And Curly and the crew just started laughing it up. They thought that was really funny. And they went, is that funny? Yeah, let's do it. And then they figured out how to do it safely. And they make the, the nap is made with a, a violin string. Boink. And they've just, they tried different sounds till they found the one that was, they thought was the funniest. So when they poke, it's a little violin string. But that, that one's done. What they do is they show I, and they come in and they tap him on the head, and then come straight out. So it's like this. And he goes, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Curly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would do that and they would miss. But it was, it was that. They were popping him on the head. And if you watch close, you'll see him do it. They, 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 he hits him right on top of the head. Um, okay. Kicks. Kicks are fun. Because we, we can kick all kinds of stuff. I need somebody that's good at kicking come up and, and kick me. I'll do it again. No, I want, I want somebody else. I appreciate you wanting to volunteer again. I want, I want a new person. Somebody hasn't gone. Who wants to do a kick? Oh, now you volunteer. Oh, you're wearing those boots. Dang. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, we have two kinds of kicks. We have a front kick, which is a snap kick which is done this way. We make contact and then snap the foot back. The kick's not done with the toe, but with the top of the foot. So you point your toe, kick, snap it back. I want to test you on that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a target and I want you to kick it. Are you right footed or left footed? I suppose right. Yeah, kick me with your right foot. Your hand? Uh-huh, kick my hand. Yeah, you almost made contact, that was good. <laughs> oh, I actually kick your hand. No, kick my hand. That's better. Kick it. Go ahead and kick it. Now, that was too hard. <laughs> okay. As soon as you make contact, snap it back. Make the contact, though. You're, you're, you're getting your you're tension. Especially with my laces. That's contact. <laughs> getting kicked with laces doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, kick me. Okay, now snap it back. That was right. Yeah, now kick like you mean it. That's good, now do it again. Good, do it again. I want to make sure he kicks me several times and it's not a fluke. <laughs> okay. You're doing great, do it again. That was with your toe. <laughs> Top of your foot. Okay, now snap it though. Good, all right, all right. Now this kick can be used in a lot of places. Uh, you can throw that kick uh, into, into somebody's leg. Uh, I could kick somebody in the shin. Oh my. I could kick somebody in the thigh. Um, the one that the audiences love, though, is kick to the crotch. <laughs> so we're going to do that one for you. I'm going to unvolunteer. You get to kick me. Oh, I'm going to volunteer. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is hike up my pants. <laughs> I'm going to bend my leg and I'm going to give you a target, which is the thigh. I can take a hit in the thigh pretty good and it won't hurt that bad. Okay? 
So what you're going to do is come across and kick me in the thigh. Let me see you do that. <laughs> like the same way I just... <laughs> yeah, but snap it back. Oh, that's good. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, but you got you got tentative that time. Do it. Go ahead. I'm afraid. This is more pressure. That's great. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it just a little bit to hide it because I don't want you to see him kick me in the leg. All right. So we got real mad at each other. And we're going to turn this way. Okay. And I'm going to give you the target. So well, I'd work in the blocking that I'd have my leg bent to give him a target to shoot for. Because if I'm standing like this, then chances are he would. So here we go. All right, ready? Kick like me. Oh! Oh, God! You missed! Oh! Oh! No, he didn't. That was pretty good. Did that look okay? It looked like he kicked me in the crotch? Do it again. Okay, here we go. Ready? No, you didn't oh, kick me. I didn't, I didn't Don't hold back. Oh! 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 Did you like it that time? <laughs> the reaction sells it. I can make it funny. I can make it serious. Just depends on how we do it. Okay, that was pretty good. You can sit down. I need another kicker. I, I, somebody that's played soccer. Or in Europe, football. I need a soccer player. Yeah, come on. Okay. When you pat. The other kick that we do is, is a side kick or soccer kick, which is we come across and we kick with the side of our foot. Okay, like you're passing the ball to somebody. And the only difference is don't follow through. As you make contact, stop. You're not going to snap it, but you're going to stop. Again, are you right footed or left footed? Um, kind of both. So I guess more right. Okay, you're right. Okay, kick my hand for me. But mean it. Okay, you're trying to score a goal. Score a goal. Yeah, you're stopping, but you're stopping a little short. Okay, don't be afraid. You're not going to hurt my hand. That's good. Do it again. Good. Now, look mean like you're really mad. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a I hate person. you! <laughs> Wimp! You can't kick me! <laughs> okay, one more time. Good. Good. Now you're gonna you're gonna sell this, and this kick uh, can go again. Go to the go to the leg. Uh, go to a lot of places, but I'm gonna give you a, a nice big target. <laughs> okay. Now let's turn. Let's turn. You're gonna come from this way. Okay. Now the kick goes from one cheek or the other cheek, never in the middle. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Now, I, I can't really, I can't really see her do this, thank goodness, but she's got to give me a cue so I know when to react. So I'm going to give you a line, take that, and on that you kick me. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to hurt me, go ahead. <laughs> Did you kick yet? Let me have it. Let me have it. Come on. When does it, you've always, you know, how many teachers at this university have given you a chance to kick them? Let me teach you we don't actually want to hurt. All right. Oh, that was great. Okay, do it again. 
do it, do it again. No, no, it was perfect. I'm going to react this time. Ready? And, oh! And I could react. We could make it funny. We could make it serious, whatever we want to do. But that's the right kick. Did it look okay? Again, I, can't, I, my, I couldn't see from my direction. <laughs> so you have to help me out. Good job. That was very nice. Thank you. So just to review, the nap is the sound that's made. Measure the distance between fighters. In stage combat, all fights never go any faster than three-quarter speed. We run them at three-quarter speed in performance. We use reverse energy. The Society of American Fight Directors tries to make fights safe, but they want them to look real. David Boucher, founder of the Society of American Fight Directors, and the actor who has a punch named after him, John Wayne. The John Wayne punch. That one. Is there anything you'd like to see me do or like to know how they do in Hollywood? I don't want to bust your bubble, but championship wrestling is not real. <laughs> They do hit one another, but they're great big people, and they get paid a lot of money to get hit. But if you watch where they hit, they hit, they get hit in places where it won't hurt that bad. And they fake a lot, too. Um, you can cut tables to fall on so that they'll collapse. You won't get hurt. They do that. And you can get whacked with a chair really easily and it, without hurting somebody. It's, it's, it's a piece, it's actually, it's really easy to do. It's, it's just doing this. <laughs> Make the nap with the hand. I don't even get near the wall. Um, I was a class clown. You have to learn all this stuff. To be a class clown. Um, if there are no questions, have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. I'll see you Thursday.